Hello everyone, welcome to this channel. In today's video, I am going to show you on how to create a customized navigation button just like this one guys. As a transfer, this is my sample. And below this one, this is my navigation button. This is customized guys, new record because uh, based on the auto number, this is new. And when we navigate to previous record, so record 20 of 20, meaning to say this is the last record. Okay, 19 of 20. Because normally, guys, when we want to see the records, we just um, set this one. Just like this. Um, we have clicked this navigation button to yes. Like for example, that one, yes. And let's try. So, below this one, 21 of 21. And when we navigate, 20 of 20, 20 of 20. 19 of 20 so this is very the same guys so how to do this if you are still interested please watch this video until the end and please do subscribe if you have not yet subscribed <laughs> We have to copy paste this. I need some space. And now we have to drag a text box. Okay. So now let's start the coding, guys. Very simple. So in the data, control source, so let's type F, and then open bracket, let's copy paste, and then type is null. So if null, so the true part, you have to type new, sorry, new record. Okay. What if false? If false, let's type record and then concatenate current okay, current record and then also concatenate naman concatenate again so now the last is the total record count and then asterisk double and close parenthesis so let's try guys um record 20 of 20 they're the same 19 of 20 18 of 20 so that's it guys so i hope this video helps you a lot and if you like this video please click like and if you have comments or suggestion please comment it down below that's all thank you and once again see you to my next video